Morgan Lynn, and my topic is prescription drugs. Taking a major claim that the prescription of inappropriate drugs has a negative impact on our, on our community. My first secondary claim is that doctors are often careless when they prescribe drugs, which can result in the death or injury of patients. The mistakes can be as simple as a pharmacist misreading a prescription or a doctor having a legible handwriting. And since pharmacists are sometimes employed by drug companies, they recommend their employers' drugs to doctors without the patient's best benefit in mind. And because so few doctors get their licenses revoked or suspended, the problem's not getting any better. According to a 2002 study by the Journal of the American Pharmaceutical Association, 21.3% of community dueling senior citizens are being prescribed at least one medication. 1.5 million people are hospitalized, and 100,000 people die every year from adverse reactions to drugs they shouldn't be taking, according to the Medical American, the Journal of the American Medical Association, the National NBA. My second secondary claim is that the misprescription of drugs leads to drug abuse, because drug seekers are being prescribed drugs that they have no medical need for. The White House study reports a 400% increase in prescription drug abuse from 1998 to 2008. That makes prescription drugs the second most abused drug behind marijuana. People being able to obtain pills inexpensively through pharmacies leads to illegal drug distribution. Certain controlled prescription drugs can be resold for profit. Most popular drugs contain the chemicals alprazolam, hydrocodone, and oxycodone, which would be Xanax, Vicodin, and Oxycontin. According to the National Drug Intelligence Center in 2007 compared to 2003, there has been a 92% increase in dosages of alprazolam seeds, a 117% increase in dosages of hydrocodone seeds, and a 55% increase in drug seizures of oxycodone. And my fourth secondary claim is that the diversion of controlled prescription drugs directly affects crime, because in areas where CPDs are popular, popular property and violent crimes increased. This is proven in a study done by the National Drug Intelligence Center near the Great Lakes area. And because an increasing number of gangs distribute CPDs, that also has an effect on crime. So in conclusion, doctors should be more careful in prescribing drugs to people, especially if they're of old age or if the patient is taking numerous medications. I believe that if there are harsher penalties for doctors that are proven to have been misprescribing mis patients, there would be fewer inaccuracies in the prescription process. They should also be careful in prescribing drugs that are popularly abused, like drugs in the opioid, central nervous system depressant, and stimulant classes, because there are people who intend to abuse and sell their pharmaceuticals refilling the prescriptions every day. Yeah, it was a little short, 2.37, so you've got a plenty of time, and you're rushing through the presentation also. You, you can take your time. You get into this reading mode, and you just keep zipping through without really uh, developing the argument or explaining it. Now, you do signpost okay, but uh, s sometimes all you're doing is uh, telling us what the evidence says, not telling us what the inference is on these points. And uh, you've got a lot of statistical information in the presentation. Um, and some of it needs a little bit of explanation. Uh, the numbers by themselves don't tell us things. Uh, you need to kind of explain how those numbers show that uh, misprescription or misuse uh, of uh, the medications is going on. That early on you make a, a, a generalization about uh, pharmaceutical companies or pharmacies uh, working in collusion with doctors to make people use drugs that they don't really need, but I didn't get any evidence on that. All I got was evidence about uh, people having uh, in medications misprescribed to them or uh, overprescribed to them, and uh, there's no relationship that, it, that I saw to what the pharmaceutical companies are doing. It all sounds like doctors are not following the directions that they're supposed to or they are uh, not being careful with the script that they're writing. And I think you need to do a better job of developing that. Each of the, I mean, you've got four points in two minutes. That means each one is getting about 30 seconds. And there's hardly any explanation of them. There's just the data dump that you're doing on these points. And I think you need to do a little bit more analysis. And don't forget that you have to explain to the audience what uh, your conclusions are. I, I did think that you did a good job providing the uh, sources for the evidence that you had, but uh, sometimes. Like I said, it's not really but there's not what dispute is there on a couple of those points. Okay, so a lot of people are misprescribed evidence or medications. Is there any doubt about that? And uh, you've got a number of nearly 100,000 people who are dying as a consequence of adverse drug reactions. Uh, where is the dispute on this? The dispute is that uh, either we're not keeping enough control in the hospitals 
Uh, doctors are not in, uh, in control on this, and that's where you need more of your evidence. And you just seem to assume that because the number exists, that that is proof in and of itself that something uh, untoward is going on. And I'm not sure that's the case. All right. Thank you.